If you are unlucky enough to be able to quickly recognize this item that's in my left hand here, then I'm willing to bet money that you're having really bad flashbacks right now about the last time that you had to change the oil filter and oil in your Toyota or Lexus vehicle. This is what's known as the Toyota filter cartridge. And FYI, it is a giant mess to deal with. Some of these are metal, some of them are plastic, but all of them are a giant mess to deal with and a giant pain in the neck. Also, another flaw with these things is they don't have any backflow preventer for the oil. No oil backflow preventer. All in all combined, Toyota doesn't make many mistakes in my opinion, but in my opinion, this is one of their biggest engineering flaws um, there's no need for anybody to have to deal with a giant mess and a pain in the neck every time they change their oil filter. Anyways, the good news is, in this video, I get to tell you about going out with the old and in with the new. I have a solution for this. And for all, I have a 2008 Toyota Avalon. Um, the solution I discovered is good for all Toyotas and Lexuses that take a cartridge filter. And it is was come up by these guys they came up with the idea at Baxter Performance um, of coming up with a cartridge this wonderfully designed American made uh, cartridge adapter okay uh, it's a real simple uh, concept don't know why Toyota couldn't just do it from that, that way in the beginning but they chose not to uh, anyways if you want to find them, they're over at BaxterPerformanceUSA.com. And above that, by the way, is the part number for the 2008 Toyota Avalon, if you happen to have one. Now, this is not going to be an oil change video. It's an installation and a solution video. And it's going to be pretty simple because the solution is pretty simple and the installation is pretty simple. So without further ado, I want to quickly go over... Uh, what I'm going to do outside uh, at the car because I'm going to be working with one hand like I am here and I'm not going to be able to explain a few things as clearly so I'd like to summarize real quick first. What we're going to do in general is obviously take this out, take the filter out. Sometime there's a clip, retainer clip around this but all that's explained in the instructions that you get uh, from Baxter. So read the instructions. So first we're going to take a thin coat of oil and coat this rubber seal right here. Then we're gonna take another thin coat of oil and rubber coat this uh, seal right here, this O-ring around it. Then we're gonna hand screw this into the vehicle through these by these threads where the old cartridge used to screw in by these threads. You get the idea? So you screw that, hand screw that in, hand tight, and then this is in the vehicle now. You go get yourself a one inch deep socket, deep well socket, put it on. I'm gonna do it with just a normal ratchet at first and tighten it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go get a torque uh, wrench and they recommend over at Baxter that you put 40 foot pounds on it. So I'm gonna set the torque wrench for 40 foot pounds and torque it in. And then guess what? I'm gonna be living a good clean life. I'm gonna have the ability to instead of dealing with all that giant mess if you've done it before you know exactly what i'm talking about i don't have to say anything to really explain it to you if you haven't it's a huge mess trust me um but that's it that's going to be the solution i don't have to battle with it every single time and have to reclean this silly cartridge for reinstallation every time i take it out there you have it now you're going to get to see me put it in. My apologies. I forgot to add in the prior video content that with this spin-on solution, many of these filters have backflow preventers built into them. So in essence, you're creating a better filtering process for your vehicle in general. They have backflow preventers built in. This has no backflow preventer in it. So just wanted to be clear about that. Now you get to watch me install it. I always start out, I've warmed up the engine about five minutes. I'm taking this off so I get airflow when I change the oil. 
Next, we remove the offending oil filter cartridge located here. Like I said, there may be a retaining clip on some vehicles. Read the directions. And of course, here's the offending mess. Look at that nasty thing. You got to clean it off every time. Yuck. Giant mess. I cannot reiterate that enough. Another advantage to that adapter, this little thing right here, I don't ever do it. I don't think anybody hardly ever does it. Even the Texas Toyota don't do it. But you're supposed to screw this out and drain this before you pull it all out, which is even more ridiculous in my opinion. Um, but my point is, it's just another thing you got to mess with on this already big pain in the neck cartridge that you don't have to deal with with the spin on. So just thought I'd uh, make sure... I pointed that part out as well. Now it's come time to install this baby. Like I said, the first thing to do is put a thin coat of oil, either new or from your old oil filter around this seal, and then put another thin coat of oil over this seal, which is what I'm gonna be doing off camera. I went ahead and cleaned that out really good. Just discovered this and failed to include it in prior content so i wanted to make sure i shared it with you really wonderfully designed uh, if i put my hand over this this is the part where my palm is that screws into the or sorry that seals to the engine if you'll notice it compresses so very nice design wonderful design on this american-made beauty kudos to baxter performance usa.com anyways just wanted to make sure i included that information in there with you when you push this up into your car or sideways or however it's mounted you're going to have to compress that spring uh, in order to be able to screw it in most likely so but that's a good thing be really nice and sealed onto the vehicle all right it's in place don't be surprised like i was uh, you're going to have to push this up a little bit in order to thread it in because um, it, it's basically because it's made really well. There's a pressurized string, spring on the back side of this uh, that once you push the seal up, it seals it really tight. So you've got to compress it and then screw it in and then just screw it all the way in like this. Like I said, I'm going to get my ratchet and finish the job and then uh, the torque wrench. Got the one inch deep well socket on my ratchet. This is a one half inch ratchet. You might need to use an extension. Maybe, maybe not. That's up to you. Continuing to tighten. Finishing up with the torque wrench set to 40 foot pounds as instructed by Baxter. And last but definitely not least, the magical spin in cartridge that I get to use from here on out. I already put a, a bit of oil around that rubber seal between the cartridge like you would with any oil filter putting it on spinning it on but look at that baby go in and how easy it spins and how nice it's going to be from here on out for sure this is shot with the camera pushed hard up against the front bumper of a 2008 toyota avalon and that's just to give you an idea of the fitment of it on that vehicle also please remember this adapter can fit on any Toyota that has a cartridge oil filter. So don't get stuck on a 2008 Toyota Avalon if you've got a cartridge filter. They've got a solution over at Baxter. Now I'm going to angle it down just to give you a view of it and how it fits. So if you're interested for your car, you can find it at BaxterPerformanceUSA.com. Just go check it out and enter your car's information and see what they got for you.